Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. Number one, due to the federal charges against former President Donald Trump in the case of taking classified documents from the White House following his presidency, the city of Miami is now on full alert as it prepares to secure the federal building where Donald Trump will be arraigned. Security not only has to take into consideration the placement of international media, but also prepare for demonstrations in support of and those protesting against the former president as he heads to court. It is there. He's expected to be fingerprinted, photographed, and answer over 30 charges, including holding on to national defense information. Number two, the U.S. Supreme Court Thursday ruled by a five to four decision that Alabama discriminated against black voters when it drew its seven congressional districts last year in a major victory for the embattled 1965 Voting Rights Act. The decision in the case means that Alabama will have to draw its congressional map to include a second majority black district. Black voters currently comprise a majority of the voting age population in just one district, despite making up over a quarter of the state's population. Number three, June 27th is National HIV Testing Day, and knowing your status is paramount to living your best life by keeping you and your partner safe. Even though innovations for diagnosing, treating, and testing for HIV have made the disease much more manageable, such that people are living longer, the HIV rates among black people, and especially black women, should give us pause. Talk to your health care provider about your health concerns and ask your provider for an HIV test as a part of your annual physical and make an HIV test a part of your health care routine. Number four, 36 year old Richard Randy Cox was arrested by New Haven, Connecticut police without incident June 18, 2022 and was put in the back of a police van without seat belts. Due to a head injury, because the van made an abrupt stop, Cox was paralyzed from the neck down, required a ventilator later, breathing and feeding tubes, and could not talk. Almost a year later, the legal counsel for Cox confirmed that a $45 million settlement has been reached. Also, Jocelyn Lavendier and Luis Rivera, the two arresting officers, were fired, along with three other officers, facing charges of second-degree reckless endangerment and cruelty to persons. Number five. GoFundMe is the largest crowdfunding platform today, but whether donations made through it are tax deductible depends on certain factors. If you donate to a qualified 501c organization that has a GoFundMe page, your donation will be tax deductible. However, if it's not a qualified 501c organization, it's considered a personal donation and not eligible for tax deduction. And What You Need to Know newsletter has a detailed breakdown of this subject from our celebrity CPA Katrina M. Kraft. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. When we lose something that's important to us, the pain can seem unbearable. And we wish peace unto you. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with comedian extraordinaire Damon Williams, political contributor Cameron Riley, and our producer extraordinaire Ahmed Gordon as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association, and Black Health Matters. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.